Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Ege, and uh, this today I'm going to show you the inventor, uh, how to use inventor to create the orthographic views of an angle iron. And inventor is a program that you're using first time, and uh, the design that you're going to be including a simple angle iron. This is commonly known in the industry as an angle iron. So you're going to go to the uh, program, not AutoCAD this time, last class we did the AutoCAD, and we're going to go to the inventor and start Windows, uh, Windows Virtual Desktop and go to the inventor, 2022, and you need to sometimes, you need to type it directly, okay? And then when you type the icon or click on the icon, this is the screen that you're going to be seeing. And you're starting in the inventor, traditionally, a part drawing, okay? If you see the new, the word new on the top left corner, okay? And right underneath there is a first, first button is part drawing. There's an assembly drawing. There's a drawing and presentation choices. You're clicking on the part drawing and click. And new part, okay? Screen is going to change accordingly. Again, on the top menu, we call this again ribbon, okay? Then you have a bunch of options. Please pay attention to the top left corner. 3D model is already selected. And you want to start a two-dimensional sketch, okay? So one of the first things you want to do, you want to select your plane. This is, a, this is specific to inventor. It doesn't give you a predefined plane, you need to select a pre-designed plane. And basically you go to the origin. On the left-hand side, you have a browser. On the browser, you need to click on the plus right next to the origin icon. When you click on it, you have like three planes, YZ plane, XZ plane, XY plane. And you move your cursor to the top and click on the YZ plane. And then, and a little icon is going to appear in the middle of the screen on the right hand side to create a new sketch. Uh, create a sketch button, click on it, and instantly you have a uh, center, uh, cross hair lines the, uh, at the center of your screen. This intersection of the, these two cross hair lines is actually the starting point, your 0, 0 point. So how do we start the original drawing? I'm going to start with the left side view of the original drawing because this is a profile of it. So I'm going to use line command on the top left and select the line command, click, and move my cursor right at the zero comma zero, move cursor to the right and be as precise as you can be. And total length is going to be, and as soon as you click on the first point of the line, and co computer gives you a highlighted dimension. Right now it shows 0 0.979. And what we want here is four inches, so type four, enter. Okay. Zoom out using your uh, thumb, thumb wheel. See the end of the other end of the line. Draw a vertical line. Align your cursor so that it, it is the line connected to your cursor is vertical and the height is going to be just simply one. Type one, enter. Now move your cursor to the left and make it as, as flat as possible, okay? It's now almost perfectly flat. And this time you're going back and the highlighted dimension is going to be three inches. So you type three, enter. You're gonna move your cursor up, okay? And you're going to be moving two inches to enter up and move to the left, okay? And you're going to be entering one to the left. Now move your cursor down all the way to the corner point you start at 0, 0.0, enter, okay? Now your profile is ready, almost. Um, what we're going to do, we are, as soon as we finish this profile, uh, we're going to extrude it for three inches, okay? 
And what else do we need on this one? Uh, we need to round the corners, two corners. Angle irons do have rounded corners. So we go to the fillet command. Click on the uh, fillet item. Under the sketch, there's a fillet okay, command on the one, two, three, four, fifth item, sixth item from the top left, okay? And the, it's going to give you the fillet dimension. The fillet dimension is one inch, and the default is 0 0.125. You don't want that. You want to enter one, and then move your cursor to the top line, and the second right, second line next to it, just like that. Move your cursor again top line and the second line just like that and now we're done so you can okay cancel the fillet command you're all finished and you cannot save your drawing at this point because it says you're in the sketch mode in the sketch mode you never save your drawing okay so we're going to be out of sketch mode and click on the finish sketch check there's a check mark on the top right hand corner and click on that to finish the sketch okay um, so adjust your screen so that you can see entire screen sketch and the view cube on the top right change your angle so that you can see again uh, what you're about drawing and what I'm going to do I'm going to just extrude this but before I extrude it I like to save it and to show you how to save it go to the file on the top left corner pretty much most of you already know how to do that and go to the save as command and as usual, you go to OneDrive, right? You go to OneDrive, okay? And find your uh, folder, double click on it. And this is going to be Angle Iron folder, create the Angle Iron folder, okay? And I'm looking where I am. I generated, okay, I'm creating a new folder, Angle. And probably you want to write this. Angle iron. Okay, properly enter. And then just create and double click the icon and inside this angle iron. Okay? And then save. So every time you save it, this is where it's going to go. What are we going to do is that we're going to extrude this profile. So on the top left hand corner, there's a 3D model tab already selected because as soon as you finish the sketch and you go to extrude command, you simply select extrusion in opposite direction to the left, okay? And not one inch, so they change the angle to three inches, okay? And then, okay, now you have three inch extruded angle iron, okay? Three inch long angle iron. Um, to see it better, there is a tool on the on your screen on the right hand side. It's called uh, again orbits tool. Click on it, and then that will give you a chance to look at the adjust very comfortably. Okay, your view so that you can see what you're doing. Okay, and uh, escape. Okay. And again, you can control S, you can save your work. As long as you're not in the sketch mode, you can control S and save, okay? Now, there are other features that you, you're about to create on this, okay? And then I'm going to select, click on the a surface plane on the top, and I'm selecting a top surface here, click on it, okay? And when I click the, on the plane, I'm going to create a sketch from this one. This is very common procedure. We feel before we draw any lines, we select a plane and then we create a sketch and then draw lines and then finish the sketch and extrude it. That's what we do most of the time in the inventor. This is the way entire uh, software is designed, entire application is designed. First select a plane, then create a sketch uh, and then create lines and then ex exit the sketch and and the, do the extrusions of 3D features. So, plane is already selected. Now, sketch command is on the create sketch command on is right on the right hand side. Okay. And what we like to do, we want to create a rectangle. 
one inch to the, from the lower left hand corner. So I'm going to draw a one inch line because, okay? Because I'm, I'm in the sketch plane, a single line doesn't matter if I'm using for dimensional or construction purposes. I'm creating from the lower right hand corner a sketch line, one, enter, and that's it. All, that's all I want to do, enter. And now I establish my starting point of my rectangle, and the rectangle is going to start from the end of the sketch line, and it's going to go how much? Um, one inch to the right, so I'm typing one, tab key, and two inches into the uh, I angle I run to enter key. Okay? That sketch will be extruded. Okay? I'm changing the angle so that you can see what I just did. Okay? And I'm finishing the sketch. Okay? I'm going to the extrude command. Extrusion will be in opposite direction. So I'm changing the direction of extrusion. Also, it's going to be subtraction, not addition, subtraction. Okay? And I'm going to OK this. Everything looks good to me on the screen. And I'm going to OK it. And click OK button. Ta-da! Perfect job. Control S for save. OK. Now we need to do one more feature. There's one more feature. OK. And we're going to select the front surface that you're, you're seeing right now. Click on the surface. OK. And you're going to create a sketch from that surface. Okay. Your view changed very nicely. And now we're going to generate again one construction line. I call this construction line because we only use it as long as we need it. Okay? We don't use it for other purposes. So one enter. This establishes your starting point. Enter again, you're out. Establish the starting point of your rectangle. Click on the rectangle command. And you can click, and where it is. Now, you're creating a cube, okay, one by one. So type, when it's highlighted, when the dimension is highlighted, type one, tab key, type one, enter key. Okay? So we created a rectangle, and I'm changing my view so that you can see what I am doing. This time, I'm going to finish the sketch again one more time. I'm going to go to extrude again. Computer knows <laughs> what I want to do. The extrude is all, all, already. I go to in opposite direction, okay? And subtraction is selected, not the addition, but subtraction is selected, okay? And I'm going to okay it. Boom. And you have entire angle iron has been completed. <laughs> this is the solid model of angle iron project is completed. Uh, is this good enough? Are we, can we return this to our, uh, our client and collect the money, get the check from the client. No, not yet, but it's almost uh, there. Uh, we're very close to the finishing. So solid model is finished, but not the drawing. Drawing is directly has to be created by you, me, and whoever. Okay, and drawings are going to be emailed or inter internet, uh, electronically transmitted to the manufacturer, and. There is a certain rule when it comes to the mechanical engineering drawings, and that rule is you have to have orthographic views created. Good news is Inventor is a very modern program, very advanced in multiple ways. It creates it automatically for you, okay? So how do we go and create uh, orthographic views? Okay, we need front view, we need top view, we need at least side view, okay? So. Um, this is the front view, usually supposed to be essential view, and control S, control S for saving, okay. Um, how do we go to view? So we go to the file, okay. Again, click on the new, okay. And this time you need a drawing, drawing file. Uh, if, if you look at it closely, Uh, there is something called ANSI, there's ANSI inch, okay, IDW, inventor drawing file. So we're going to select that, okay? And we're going to create. 
Okay, your screen is changed, and there's a tab, new tab called Drawing One tab. Okay, there's a huge, gigantic drawing file in front of you, and which you don't want that. Okay, so NCA is very large size. Probably it's like three feet or four feet by three feet, something like this. You don't need need this. So go to the left browser you see on NC Large. Select. Um, Drawing resources, sheet formats, select and A size. You need A size, okay? Double click that and okay it. Ta da! All right. This is good, but the drawing here in the middle of it is pretty bad. This is a 3D called perspective drawing, and we use it sometimes. We don't use it all the time, and that's uh, currently that's non standard. It's not even an orthographic view, it's called pictorial view. These views occasionally used, okay? Uh, maybe 50% of the times, but not 100% of the times. And I want to start with orthographic view rather than this view. So I'm going to delete the view one. Yes, delete the view one. Okay. So where do we go to create a new view? We go to base. Okay. And we need to choose a uh, front view and change change the scale. I want to change the scale to one over two. Okay. And this is uh, hidden line removed. No, this is a hidden line. So selective style, first one on the style. Okay. Um, okay, the front view and everything is we call it label it as view one if necessary. We call it label uh, item. I am not going to change the view label on this one. Okay. Ta da. This is the rear view. Actually, the least I need. <laughs> um, so, how do we? Uh, what do we do for the other views? Probably, I'm going to raise this view a little later, but not now. I need it for project the other views from. So, I go to the top second icon, second command from top right hand command. It's called projected views. Click on that. I move my cursor and drag it to the left, or drag it to the right. Perhaps I should drag it to the right, and Click here, press right mouse button, go to the select, uh, create button. Okay? So far, so good. And one of the things you can do, I projected right, right view, and which is cool. I need to project the top view as well and the front view. Okay? So go to projected view on the top right, uh, top left corner, the second icon on the top, click, and select the viewport of the second view, last view, and move up, okay, something like that, and click, and press right mouse button, create. Cool. Now we have front view, we have the top view, and we have one view on the left that we don't want to. <laughs> okay. And go to the projected view again, okay, and select the second view, okay, and click, uh, press, click left, Okay, press right mouse button, click on the create button. All right, so far, so good. Now, you have actually one front view, one top view, one right side view, and you don't want any other view on there, okay, any more than that, okay? So, one, there are a number of things you can do once you create those views. You can double click, for example, okay, on the viewport, and you can change that to the master view. Front view. I made the front view master view, for example, and okay. So now it's a master view, right? Yeah. And what it is is that master. Everybody is connected to master view. So I'm going to click on uh, the the rear view that I don't care to show, and I'm going to delete that. Okay. Go Control C. I cannot delete this. Let me see. I want to uh, depend views. No, I want to delete this view only, not the dependent views. Okay. View only. So what I'm going to do is select the view number two and OK it and OK it. Oh, control Z again. Um, how do I get rid of this view?
Okay, so we're gonna let's keep this view okay on the edge uh, right now, and let's uh, add some dimensions. Now, at this point, you want to control S for save it, okay? And it's an angle iron assignment, and this is a drawing file supposed to be saved separately, and okay it. Now, dimensions, okay, is under the annotate, and we're going to go to the dimension. And dimension only, absolutely most important, okay, views. Okay, for example, the length has to be dimensioned, and height needs to be dimensioned, okay? Um, certain features, such as width, okay, on the top view has to be dimensioned only on the top view, okay? Um, there are critical dimensions uh, from one point to another point. They have to be dimensioned. Okay. Height is dimensioned, length is dimensioned, the features are dimensioned. Um, And also thickness. Thickness is very critical. Uh, there is a special, okay, um, <clears throat> course for the dimensioning and tolerancing. If you go to mechanical engineering or aerospace engineering or nautical engineering school, you're going to have to take that course. It's called dimensioning and tolerancing, and it's a one semester course, and it's extremely important. Okay, so uh, for example, this height, thickness is not repeated that dimension is not repeated because they're all the same and it forms a pattern so one of the things you can do you double click the dimension and inside you you write typ capital letters okay typ that means typical short for typical for example you can say 2x means two look at two locations okay so that's one of those things for uh, i learned Okay, during time I'm working with engineering companies, and another thing, co company name has to be written. Control S every time you accomplish something, okay? And another thing, company name has to be written first, and then the roving name has to be written. Company name is here, we're in the Fairfax company, Fairfax High School company, so we're going to write annotate text, you're going to choose the top left corner of the box. I'm sorry. Top left corner. Of the, drag the top left corner all the way to the bottom right corner. Opposite corner. Okay. And then we're going to select the midpoint. Then we're going to select midpoint. And then we're going to type uh, 0.2 inches. And then we're going to click inside and say Fairfax High School. In capital letters again, and make sure it's written like this. Fairfax High School. Okay, and then click OK. And we're going to do this one more time, and this time for the title. And title is again has to be um, centered, middle center. Height is has to be centered too, and capitalized, and it should be. 0.2 okay, angle, the uh, height of the letter is 0.2 inches, and we're going to type this time angle iron orthographic views, angle iron orthographic views, orthographic views, okay, and then okay. Of course, save your work, and thank you very much for listening.